All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little video on how I site in a movable site, whether or not it be a single pin or a multi pin system, which is what I have here. I have a three pin system. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to run this site all the way to the top to where it stops. And that's going to give us a good zero. So now that this is all the way to the top, I'm going to take my top pin and we're going to go ahead and step up to 20 yards here and we're going to sight this in at 20 yards. Okay, so that's a little bit high. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna loosen this up. And we're gonna click this, this whole site bracket up. We'll go ahead and shoot another one here at our 20. Okay, that one's right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a little line right at my needle here. I just use a, a post-it note or a, just a little piece of paper on here that's sticky backing on here and make that line. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way back slowly shooting a few arrows as we go back and I'm going to aim with the top pin the whole time. So we're going to go ahead and shoot maybe an arrow at 30, an arrow at 40, and I'm going to work my way to it until we get to 60. So come on back. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm sliding my sight down a little bit, and right now we're, we're already at, at 40, and I just want to take a shot. I don't really care if it's in the middle or not. I just want to make sure I'm not going to miss the target by the time I get to 60. So I've moved it a little bit. We'll go ahead and check it here at 40. Okay. I think we're pretty close. We'll go ahead and step back to 60. All right, so we've already shot a shot at 60 here. Um, I'm a little bit low. I'm gonna go ahead and take another shot. And I'm doing this all by aiming with the top pin. Still just a little bit low. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this sight down just a little bit more. Take another shot here at 60. Okay, that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a line where my 60 mark is. And that was aiming with my top pin the whole time. So now we'll go ahead and go inside here and show you how we find out the, find the right sight tape for this. Okay, now that we've got our two sight marks, our 20, and our 60 mark. What I do is I just grab a piece of paper and I'm gonna lay it on top of this and get that distance. So now I've taken that distance. Now we're gonna line that up on our sight tapes. All right, now that we've got our 20 and our 60 gap, I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up and find one that matches up with our 20 to 60. Uh, or 290, looks like we're gonna need about 280. It's a little bit.
perfect, right there, 286. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this tape out. Casper's eating his food. He's a little noisy. As you can see on these sight tapes, they're designed for a left or right-handed shooter. So being that we have a right-handed sight, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these numbers off of this side. Are you done eating there? So now this is gonna be where, the only thing that's gonna change on this part is whether or not we are going to aim with our our top pin as our floating pin or our bottom pin as our floating pin. I personally like to shoot my top pin as my floater. Um, mainly that gives me the ability to shoot 3Ds and always wherever my top pin is is wherever my needle is. So, so if I was to set this up I'm going to dial my sight all the way back to the top and I will stick this tape on there to where my 20 is on, on that. And that's how my tape is going to stick on here. Now if we're going to do the bottom as our floater, we're going to, because this is a 3 pin so I'd have a 20, 30 and a 40, I'm going to put my needle on 40. So now whatever the needle is on is where my bottom floating pin is. So now if I dial down to 50, my bottom pin will be 50. So once we've done the, got our speed tape on here, only thing left to do on a multi-pin sight is go out to 30 yards and sight our 30 yard pin in, just like a conventional sight by moving our sight pin. And same thing with our 40 and move our individual sight pin. So being that I'm already going to be shooting my, my top pin as my 20, I'm going to go ahead and peel this tape off. Cut that a little shorter. And stick this tape on. And then we'll go out and we'll double check this at 80 yards. And that will give us a really good confirmation that this sight tape is going to work. If I can get this sight tape on. You don't have to get that perfect on there because we can move our indicator needle and zero that up to our 20. So if I shoot 50 yards, my top pin is 50. When I go all the way to the top, I'll have my 20, 30, and my 40. So we're going to go ahead and set this thing to 80 yards and go ahead and shoot a couple arrows at 80 and make sure it's on. All right, so we, we found our, our, our sight tape. We've got that mounted on here. We're gonna go ahead and confirm this by shooting our longer distances, say 70 or 80, uh, wherever you feel that you can actually make some good shots at. So we're gonna check our tape here at 80 and uh, see how it works. Looks good. there with it. Got a good tape.